Savage explaining point-in-time recovery, PITR, in AWS RDS. Have you ever wished you could rewind your database to a specific second just before something went wrong? That's exactly what point-in-time recovery, or PITR, lets you do in AWS RDS. Let's break it down. First, automated backups must be enabled. Once that's in place, AWS RDS automatically takes a daily snapshot of your DB instance. And more importantly, it starts capturing transaction logs continuously, recording every insert, update, and delete. So how does recovery work? Say you accidentally delete critical data at 4.02 p.m. With Peter, you can restore the database to 4.159 p.m., just one second before disaster struck. Here's how. When you initiate a restore, RDS begins with the latest full snapshot taken before your chosen time. Let's say that's from 4 p.m. It then replays the transaction logs recorded after that snapshot up until your exact target time. The system then spins up a brand new DB instance with the restored state, so your original data stays untouched and you're free to test or switch over safely. And all of this is built on AWS managed infrastructure with logs stored in S3 and recovery down to the second. That's powerful. Just remember, PR won't work if automated backups are turned off and it's not supported for read replicas. But if you're using MySQL, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, or Oracle on RDS, this feature is a must know. So the next time you need a database time machine, AWS RDS has you covered. Let me know if you'd like a